Hi there, everybody. Okay, so here we go. Going to draw this cat's eye, which was really a great challenge to do because it's all about the values. Doing a black and white study is great because it's just all about values. What are values? Values are the level of light and dark in a any color, black, gray, blue, yellow, red, whether it's a really, really dark red or it's a really, really light red, that's your value. That's your lights and your darks. And that is what makes your drawings or paintings realistic. So you really want to focus and pay attention to the values. Now, great example here. See how I'm outlining the eye and I'm going really dark. I did black to outline it. I got my values really dark there because the light, the white, the pupils and the white of the eye is going to change when something dark is next to it. So if you have trouble getting something white, like, oh, it's just not light enough, it's just not white, then you put something dark next to it. Maybe the value next to what you want light, like a highlight, whatever's next to it is not dark enough. So I hope that that makes sense. But this is a great example with the outline of the eye, the white of the eye looks very bright looks very white even the gray the light gray looks bright because believe it or not in that white part of the eye to the left of the pupil there's a light very light i think it's cold gray one there's color on there but it looks so light now i'm continuing with the mid-tones here we go getting in now the kind of the veins and the shadows in the eyes and this is luminance and i'm pretty sure it's steel gray great color to get a shiny effect it's beautiful a beautiful color karen dash luminance i'm gonna let you guys enjoy a little music while you watch this fill in i will get back when we start some fun highlighting Okay, hello there again. Now this is some fun highlighting here because I have the white luminance pencil, a layer or two underneath this gray, I'm able to scrape it off with my slice tool. Then I go right next to the area that I scraped with black or darker gray or something like that to highlight it. And I'm not worried where I go or if I did too much because I can just take it off. I have that white um, wax layer of pencil underneath so I feel like I've kind of have it protected in a sense. Now I'm 
blending the two clumps of hair together. I had two clumps of black, as you can see in the inner eye. Then under the eye, there's another clump of black hair. And that's how you want to do hair or fur. You do, you draw them in clumps or paint them in clumps. Now you can see I'm using black. This is, I'm pretty sure this is a Derwent Lightfast Black and this is cold gray. I'm blending the two. So I'm using black and the gray to blend the two together. And I like the Derwent Lightfast Black because I can get a fine point and it goes over the wax uh, very nicely. Whereas the Luminance Black I won't get a fine point or a fine line with the waxy pencil because there is so much wax on the drawing right now. I have like four layers right now. So we're getting near the end here. Final layers, very exciting. You can see now I'm pressing hard. I'm starting to burnish, which is pressing hard on the paper and filling up those little tiny holes in there, those little peaks and valleys. Now I'm using, I'm pretty sure this is the steel gray lightening up that inner eye. And you can see here, this is proof of the pudding that you can do light over dark in colored pencils if you just plan for it and don't build up your layers too, too much you will be able to do a few light layers over a darker color or value, right? Now I'm just getting the definition here, the inner eye with black. Gonna do some highlighting here, getting some gray hairs because I don't have the white pencil underneath the black. Right there I do, see how white it got? but where I'm going in the inner eye there, right here where it's super black, I don't have white under there, so it comes up gray, which is perfect. I don't want it super white. I want to some. I want to make it look like there are gray hairs there. Not every hair has to come up super white or every scrape with the slice tool. Using the Derwent Lightfast Black, Got a really sharp and I am burnishing now, pressing pretty hard. And what I'm doing is using my really fine point pencil right next to the white that I was scraping. And I am using some lighter pressure here to make some gray, some shadows. You don't have to go full, full pressure with the black all the time. You know, you press a little lighter in the color uh, with a pencil and you get some nice gray shadows, especially when, again, I have so much um, layers on underneath. Much, uh, many, many layers underneath. I was thinking I have so much wax underneath, but I have a lot of layers underneath. So now it's just detail time.
you'll see I did the black really really fine uh, point now I'm blending it in with this gray this silver gray I'm blending in the those super super fine little almost look like little hairs there that I did but I knew I was going to blend it in with this gray pencil so I went very light and got kind of a real blurry effect for the inner the eye area again just doing some final details getting my darks in there making sure my darks are dark enough my lights are light enough a few more tiny little details which the devil's in the details makes all the difference and here is the final result. Thank you so much for watching, fellow artists. Please subscribe and like and comment below and let me know if you learned anything. I would also love to see you, if you're still listening, I would love to see you in our Facebook group, The Colored Pencil Nerds. Please come and join us. Cheers.